In this video, I'm going to give you three ways to create your own niche products fast. And the first way to create your own niche product is to repurpose PLR materials. PLR stands for Private Label Rights. And this is where the author or creator of a work sells the intellectual property rights along with that work. And these get sold to more than one person. And these can include things like articles, ebooks, videos, audio programs, and a whole lot more. Now, because PLR gets sold multiple times, you have to alter it to create something unique. So you should rewrite ebooks. You can combine several PLR ebooks to create one new ebook. You can split an ebook into several articles or blog posts. You can record yourself reading an ebook and turn it into an audio product. You can turn an ebook into a video. It can be just a simple uh, slideshow video like this one. Uh, you can turn an audio presentation into a video. Just insert the uh, MP3 into your video editing software and find pictures to match it. Or conversely, you can split the soundtrack from a video and turn it into an audio product. So you can simply extract that and sell it as an MP3 product. One thing that you can do to make a truly unique product from PLR is this. You can buy several PLR products on the same subject. Be that a video or an ebook. It's probably best with ebooks uh, to do it this way. And what you do is you combine them and then you do some more research to see what's not been covered in these two ebooks or perhaps might be out of date. You put this information into the combined work and now you have something really unique, something that nobody else has. And you can then go ahead and sell that either with or without private label rights of your own. It's up to you, but you'll have a really unique product that way and you can create it much more quickly than you would do if you had to go out and research every single part of the topic. Okay, the next way of creating a niche product very quickly is to use public domain materials. Now, public domain materials are materials where the copyright has expired or was never copyrighted in the first place. And in some countries, and I'm talking about particularly the US, government works are in the public domain from day one. In other countries, particularly the UK and some Commonwealth countries, government works are copyrighted in perpetuity, so you can't use them at all ever. So you do need to check. But public domain works can be repurposed in the same way as PLR content. And because it's in the public domain, uh, you can use it and the result becomes yours. Now, you do have to be careful with public domain because copyright laws vary from country to country. If you're watching this video in the US, you have some of the simplest copyright laws in the world and lots of things fall into the public domain. In other countries, it becomes much more complicated. So don't just assume that something is in the public domain. You want to check first. And unless you can be absolutely certain that something is in the public domain, it's best to assume that it is still copyrighted and leave it and move on to something else because you don't want to run the risk of getting sued for copyright infringement. And you can find out more about public domain and public domain materials and copyrights in general on the Wikipedia page. Just come to Wikipedia and type public domain into the search box and it'll take you to this page. Now, the final way to create a niche product really fast is to interview an expert. So you want to find someone who is an authority in your niche and get them to agree to be interviewed. You'll have to pay them, obviously, 
but you'll have a unique product that should sell for a premium price. And if the expert is well known, then their fans will buy the product simply because it's about the expert. Now, there are several ways that you can conduct the interviews. You can interview the expert in person, or you can interview them over the phone. If you're going to interview them over the phone, then it's better to use Skype for phone interviews because the audio quality is much better. And if you're going to interview the expert in person, then try to video the interview. If you do this, you want to get a professional videographer or a professional crew to come in and do this for you, unless you are skilled in this particular thing. Because poor lighting and bad audio can render your video worthless. And for the same reason, I don't recommend that you do video interviews over Skype because you never know exactly what it's going to look like. The fact that you could have someone just simply talking to their webcam on their laptop, the lighting could be bad, the audio could sound boxy and so on. So what you really want to do is to have a professional crew video your interview if the expert will allow you to do so. And you can create several products from an interview. If you've been able to get the interview videoed, then you can release it as a video and you can release that online. You can have it as a video download or you can create it into a physical product, a DVD or a Blu-ray disc. For an audio, if it's uh, something that you've recorded via Skype, or if it's the audio track from your video, because you can rip the audio from the video and sell that as a separate product. And that can be downloaded either from your website or you can release it on sites like iTunes. For an ebook, well, you can take your interview and have it transcribed and you can rewrite it slightly so that it flows better in a written form. You can expand on it with information that you've got from other sources or combine it with information that you've got from interviewing other experts to make something that's really unique. And you can release that as a PDF from your website and you can also sell e-reader versions of it for things like the Amazon Kindle. And finally, you can also have a physical book. You can reformat it again so that it fits more into a written format. And you can sell it via print-on-demand sites like Amazon CreateSpace. So you can get several different products just from a single interview. And the best part is you can have all these products ready to go in only a few days. It only takes a few days to contact the expert, arrange to do the interview, do the interview, create at least one product and get it out there to your audience. So you can start to market to your newly found niche very, very quickly. Hey, it's Fred, Submarine Guy. Thanks for uh, checking out my video. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. There should be a little YouTube uh, icon on the video uh, if you're watching it somewhere else, or there's a subscribe button if you're on my uh, YouTube channel. Uh, you'll get an immediate notification of future uh, videos. And uh, thanks for watching again. Have a great day.